Hi folks, I'm here with Harbour of Souls from Sealand, the Netherlands. Uh, can you just introduce yourself member by member? So first name and function in the band and please take the mic. Hi, I'm Bram. I'm, uh, I play guitar in Harbour of Souls. Yeah, well, I'm Martin. I'm used to holding a microphone because I'm the vocalist. I'm Robert. I'm the bass player. That's all. I uh, loved your concert. Uh, what do you think of the concert yourself here at Kraken? Uh, well, it uh, went pretty well for us. Uh, I think I think it went pretty well for us. Yeah. Are we are we doubting it? No, no, no. no. We we moved uh, perfectly on stage in synchronizing waves and uh, we, well, we played okay. So uh, we would like to play here. It was a nice venue and uh, well, uh, of course the people were a little bit cold because we're the second band. Hey, that's uh, what you get when you play second, you know. People have to warm up, people have to drink beer and uh, get uh, enthu enthusiasm uh, somehow. Uh, but it will come, it will come. Uh, what are your direct influences at band? For me, I would say I hear like the 80s uh, new wave of British heavy metal, uh, maybe more. Yeah, the, the most direct influences are probably Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath, uh, Thin Lizzy. A bit of that. So Saxon is also a great influence of ours. So uh, yeah, those are probably the most direct influences. Do you also have like indirect influences? Something that inspire you? Like uh, something in life? It can be lyrically or uh, musically? Or maybe other styles of music that you look upon to that give inspiration? Well, of course, uh, besides uh, metal and hard rock, we, we listen to all kinds of bands. Uh, Robert likes likes a lot of bands he's uh, he's the well the eclectic one uh, from uh, everybody <laughs> he goes to Roburn so what kind of bands did you like there uh, this year uh, Green Lung definitely Arabrot you have to say Arabrot Mesa and what was the highlights there were a lot of highlights um, Health they're a very weird band they're not metal but uh, yeah I like the the weird and uh, adventurous stuff a lot of black metal as well I so like she will listen to all kinds of my, all kinds of music so yeah, so um, jazz, uh, punk, uh, hardcore, also with uh, blues. Oh, that's anything that's good. Anything, but we, <laughs> our sound is uh, more of a 70s, 80s, hard rock, heavy metal sound. Maybe a little speed metal comes into play now. We're, we're writing new songs. They're a little bit faster. So yeah, well, uh, we hope to bring this out this year, maybe, but we're not exactly sure. So that is. Let's continue about uh, music and musical taste. Uh, suppose you're on a desert island, you don't have internet, no phone, no radio, you have only a record player and you can only listen to three vinyls or three CDs or C CD player. Uh, which three vinyls you take with you on a desert island? You're not on the same island, so three albums, three albums, three albums. Yeah. Um, for me that will probably be a Vulgar Display of Power by Pantera. Um, Appetite for Destruction by Guns N' Roses and um, Bright Companions by John Coffey. Um, for me it's uh, Van Halen, the first album. That's uh, an absolute classic. Uh, second of all, I think uh, Merciful Fate, Melissa, that is brilliant, that's absolutely brilliant. And uh, Marbled Angel, Altars of Madness, that's absolutely cool. I have to say uh, Iron Maiden, The Number of the Beast, that's a no-brainer, soundtrack of my youth. Uh, Voivod, I mentioned Hatress. I'm a big Voivod fan. And uh, something Dutch, the first EP by the Devil's Blood, Come Reap. Uh, yeah. Best Dutch band ever, yeah, best, best have to say that. Yeah. So, those three. Yeah. have to agree, maybe I will switch up. <laughs> you stole uh, some of mine, I'm gonna participate in the competition. Uh, I would say Voivod War and Pain, I'm also a Voivod fan. Uh, secondly, Sacrilege from United Kingdom, Behind the Realm of Madness. And third album, uh, Solitude Aeternius, uh, Into the Depths of Sorrow. You have something to add, like uh, near future plans? You talked about a new album or maybe something very close by? or? Uh, yeah, we're currently working on some new songs um, in the rehearsal space, so uh, maybe we'll bring that out. We're not entirely sure when, but uh, in the near future. And uh, outside of that, yeah, just, just play a lot of gigs. It's, it's really hard after Corona to, to get gigs, but uh, we're, we're working on it and uh, yeah, we'll hope to get uh, back to the stage as soon as possible.
Anything else you want to add? Maybe I have one more question also. Uh, Harbor of Souls, how did you choose the band name? Uh, is there a meaning behind the band name? Um, well, I started uh, out with, uh, with his brother and we wrote a, a song in a jam. And uh, I called it Harbor of Souls and then we had some more songs and then we decided to make a band. And I said, well, Harbor of Souls is a good name. Why not? Let's go for it. So. Uh, so we hope to see everybody on stage, maybe in, in the winter time, and we like to bring out some new, 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 new songs, maybe a new video. We have a view, video out on YouTube, so from uh, the album Doomsayer. So check that out, and uh, check us on Spotify, and check us out on stage. Please do this uh, while you're on internet. Uh, please check me out. Uh, I'm Jan Vervaken. The interview was done by Jan Vervaken for Jan Vervaken YouTube, uh, Jan Vervaken Food and Film Facebook page. And also for uh, Dump Magazine and for uh, Musical Print. Bye bye, see you.